I was born in Russia, but when I was 12 years old, my family moved to Canada and I am a dancer. There is this saying that when life gives you lemons, <laughs> you have to make lemonade out of it. Honestly speaking, I didn't have much time to explore and search for uh, schools. Teachers were not just giving lectures. Konnichiwa. Yoroshiku Hi. My name is Yaroslav. I am 32 years old and I am a dancer. I was born in Russia, but when I was 12 years old, my family moved to Canada. There I lived for eight years and I started my dancing training there. When I was 20, I moved back to Russia to finish my education and I have been living there since There is this saying that when life gives you lemons, <laughs> you have to make lemonade out of it. So you have to, despite these hard times, make most of it. And that's what I tried to do. Uh, also, Russian ballet companies are very lucky that they have a, a very strong and loyal and passionate supporters in Japan. So we've been many times to Japan and I always had this interest and I feel that by studying here, by taking this chance, I will be able to connect more to those supporters which are very important to us as dancers. We feel their interest in our work so to make this connection deeper I I decided, in spite of these hard times, to come here and do my best to study Japanese. Honestly speaking, I didn't have much time to explore and search for uh, schools. So the next, next best thing is to ask somebody who knows and I asked a Russian company, which has a long experience of bringing uh, students to Japan. So I asked them and they chose for me and I'm very glad they chose this school. I did enjoy it a lot. <laughs> so from the start, I would say my experience with school was almost, especially at the dormitories, was like a hotel. I arrived, I was greeted by the staff. They explained me everything about the room, about the rules, and that's it. So I had, I lived in my room, I had my own kitchen, my bathroom, everything was, was little home, my little home. I had nothing to do, no contracts to sign, no payments, bills. It was exactly like a hotel. So that was easy. Uh, but I think the most important thing about TLS is that what they teach. So if even if the dormitories are good, if the contents are not up to level. So in TLS what I really liked is that I had many teachers. For example, every day, every day of the week we had different teachers. And I really enjoyed that because I could experience different approaches. They all had the same goal. They all were working on the same textbook, but every teacher is different. So this variety of teachers, variety of approaches really, really was really fun. <laughs> Let's say it was really fun to experience, to talk with teachers. Oh, also teachers were not just giving lectures. For example, at some universities, universities you come and you listen for an hour, you take notes and you go home. No, this TLS experience for me was two ways. You always had 
questions coming from the teachers and the teachers you could feel that they were open to questions during the class before class after class you could feel them waiting for students to to ask questions so that was really something that i enjoy enjoyed to be able to ask more that is given to you so that was a really nice experience also something that i really enjoyed that uh, due to coronavirus we had the possibility of taking online classes so if something would happen you would be always connected to the school you you always had this uh, lifeline <laughs> through zoom that you could always use to call your teacher anytime to ask for more questions if you would feel sick you can stay at home so if there is anything that bothered you you could use this online tools that was very useful it doesn't don't, not many schools have this uh, tools as well as in our class we had many different nationalities so that was also fun to explore as a Canadian I had this opportunity to talk to many different cultures and this was almost like similar experience for me that we had different cultures we had um, comparison to uh, Japanese culture during the class the teacher would ask something about tell us something about Japanese culture and would ask what how does it work in your country so at the same time we learn about Japan and also about China Korea Russia Italy so it was a very multicultural class that was also really nice I enjoyed that I think the biggest request I know it's not really possible now due to corona but to have more ETLS there is this environment that lets you ask questions I am satisfied because these three months were very effective if you're hesitating I think it's better to try it and do it <laughs>